keenly aware that Stone Cold ordered his gynophobic grasshopper to steer clear of Maximista's Russian uh, assailants. A, a wise course of action, to be sure. What? Uh, what? What are you saying? You seem a tad preoccupied. Yeah, it's just uh, Elizabeth and the boys. I wanted to put them in one of my safe houses, but Lucky didn't want them under my protection. Oh, but Stone Cold was no doubt forgiving that his orders were not followed? It's okay. You know, they're out of town. They'll be safe. That's all that matters. I happen to know that your boys are excellent campers. <laughs> we had a lot of fun when we went to the to the cabin with your dad, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can take a walk in the woods when we get there or something. Let them just... The Russians, when we ambushed their warehouse, we got her out, but there's no way they don't think that she's working with us. The most dire situation. The Russians are well organized, and they don't leave any witnesses. Hence the attack on Fair Maximus. That's why we can't make any mistakes. No, assuredly not. Any particular reason Stone Cold's weapons springs to I mind? Need, I need ammo, Spinelli. Yes. Be prepared, sage advice indeed. The warehouse was our first strike. It's not going to be enough to force the Russians out. You have strategized carefully. If we don't take coordinated action, the Russians could do even worse damage. Yeah, I admit it. I, I, I admit my grievous error in judgment. You what? I went against Stone Cold's advice and confronted Maximista's deadly assailants at gunpoint and failed. <sighs> Thanks for changing the tire. Jamie, it was a team effort, but the good thing is it's as good as new and ready to go. Okay, I have to admit, I was a little iffy about going to the cabin with you. Well, I... <laughs> does make two of us. <sighs> But I'm glad you're with me, because going out of tires is scary to begin with, but being on this deserted road... Yeah, I know, you sort of start imagining things. By the time the leaves rustle, I think the Russian mob is coming to get us. Okay, I gotta admit that when the tire blew, I did kind of think that maybe it was a gunshot. <laughs> We're just being paranoid, right? Yeah, I think so. And I'm freezing, so I think it's time to get back in the car. <laughs> okay, another half hour we'll be at the cabin where no one can find us. Good. Tell me, what would you do? The Jekyll used subterfuge to appropriate a spare firearm for Mr. Sir's abode in order to avenge Fair Maximista by seeking out the villains who harmed her. Okay, so you tell me you went after the Russians alone? Yeah, I am aware of the flaws in my ill-conceived plan. Just tell me what happened. I found two of the Slavic scoundrels lurking suspiciously by Pier 52. I had, I had them cornered, I had them at gunpoint. But I was unable to pull the trigger. Had the mob Prince Jones a car not shown up and manfully taken over to repel the Russian marauders, I have no doubts the evildoers would have dispatched me where I stood. Okay, now's the time to tell me exactly what you were thinking and what are you trying to prove? Stone Cold, I am aware of my dismal failure and the fact that I could have jeopardized your carefully laid plans. And not even the desire to avenge Fair Maximista could transform me into the powerful hero. Listen, if, if, if you would have shot those guys, you would, have, you would have thrown your life away. Well, given the Jacko's lack of preparation or premeditation, I have no doubts the minions of law enforcement could have uncovered my crime. You were too smart to use a gun. And if you want to be a hero to Maxie, you stay the person you are. That's who she needs you to be. We need to talk about Sonny. The marriage was Sonny. Okay, I want you to go straight to Bernie's. No detours. I want you to finish that list right now. I will do your bidding post haste. Okay, listen to me. If you run into trouble, you run, then you call me second. Understood. Sounds like you're really up against it. Yeah, well, I got it handled. Really? All by yourself? It's a Russian mob? This isn't your business. Yeah. I know, I know you basically don't know me from Adam. But uh, I'm the type of person I see an impending train wreck. I got to speak up. And this one's real easy to avoid. You just got to flip a switch. I'm sorry. But I, I, look, you and Sonny, all you got to do to solve everyone's problems, let him back into the mob. 